Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the CSR, the compact sectional rod that we make with forward controls. This is a unique product uh, in a few different ways. Basically, the point of this is to be a very, very small set of rods for cleaning out your bore of stuck casings was kind of the original concept for it. We didn't intend for this to be a replacement for the USGI cleaning kit. It was more so meant to be a range tool, but what we found and what we've seen in uh, the past few years is a huge trend and a huge shift towards self-sustainment, uh, guys wanting to be able to fight unsupported, and so they needed to have kit in their, uh, in their chest rig in order to be able to service their rifle. What you're gonna get with it is it is sized for whatever barrel length you have, so if you have a longer barrel length, you're gonna want to buy the longer set. Uh, if you have a shorter barrel length like this 12.5 or like my 13.7 I have, buy the shorter length. So there's a few different size options on our website. The handle portion of this has a wider base and is actually textured for easy manipulation. You also can use something like a multi-tool to, uh, to tap on the base if you have a really stuck casing um, that you're not able to get out with just with hand pressure. And then you're gonna get two different ends with it as well. So one end is uh, just a, uh, a simple textured end that's intended to be a stop for if you're getting a stuck casing out. We do not, do not, do not recommend uh, you trying to get a stuck casing out using just a uh, open end with nothing in it. You're gonna potentially damage it. This is uh, made by a Swiss machine, so it's very high quality, but uh, just for the longevity of the tool, you're gonna wanna leave that in there if you're getting a stuck casing out. And then we also have a jag for running a uh, patch through it. So that's something that you can use it for as well. You're gonna use one or the other. So when you are using this, uh, you're gonna to wanna to remove the one that you're not using. We also do include an elastic retainer for it. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you guys getting a stuck casing unstuck from it. So fairly simple if you've ever used like a USGI cleaning kit with a rod set. I'm just gonna assemble it all together. And I do have a casing in here that I've just uh, set in here for demonstration purposes. And there it is. So that is getting a casing unstuck. Now, say for example, you wanted to uh, then run a patch through this, just clean it real quick with like some CLP. What you can do is you can swap it out for the Jag, get a cut down patch with some CLP on it. There you have it, I ran a patch through it. So this tool doesn't exist in a vacuum, right? If you're gonna have some type of service kit for your rifle that lives in like your chest rig or your rucksack, you're gonna need some supplemental items beyond it. Uh, this is an example of what I did. You can and should build your own, um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I have it set up. So I have the CSRs, uh, I have some patches. There's some more patches in this little baggie here, obviously, and uh, the Main cleaning element I use is CLP. CLP is not good for anything, uh, but it's okay at everything. So um, obviously it's a very small bottle and I'm able to keep it as compact as possible. I would not recommend this for regular use, but if you're just servicing something in the field real quick, it's pretty good. Uh, I have a brush that has been uh, cut down and has some electrical tape on it just for some potential repairs. I do also keep some service parts in here. So in one baggie, I keep a lubed uh, complete bolt uh, with new gas rings, extractor, everything. It's, it's a drop-in bolt. So all I would have to do would be um, pull the cam pin, put the new one in, and then uh, be good to go. And then over here, I have some trigger springs and a new firing pin, as well as a cam pin and some uh, trigger pins. So basically, you know, small parts go missing or break or wear out in the field. I'm able to uh, replace them. So those live in their own baggies because I obviously want to keep them uh, lubed so that way they don't uh, rust. I do keep some nitrile gloves if I want to do any type of extensive deep cleaning out in the field and I just want to minimize my lead intake. I also keep Q-tips for cleaning out uh, feed ramps and uh, the star chamber of my rifle. But that's the basic premise of the compact sectional rod and an example of how you can actually use it. Like I said, it also works great as a range tool, but if you wanna make a really compact uh, cleaning kit that you can keep on your kit, it's a great addition to that. And uh, I'm gonna put this rifle together and then in the next video, we're gonna actually go over this rifle because you guys keep asking for it. So check that out as well.